Hey everyone, so today we're going to be going over how to obtain your working factor using your limited ingredient formula. So the reason you would use this is, let's say you, as a watch captain, uh, ask your JOD to issue out, let's say, 27 pounds of chicken. But instead, your JOD has a 30 pound case of chicken in his or her storeroom. So it's of course more convenient to issue out that 30 pound of case of chicken instead of issuing you out the 27 pounds and then keeping the three pounds of chicken left over back in the storeroom. So the formula for this is either your received, used, issued, you divide it by your AFRS or whatever the recipe call calls for, but the main word you want to focus on is this middle one, used. So whenever you start working on the word problems, that's the one you want to look for, your used. So this first problem it says you were issued, you were used, so you used four pounds of flour. But your recipe call calls for the five pounds of flour, your AFRS. So all you're gonna do is divide the used over your AFRS, what the recipe call calls for. So it's just four over five. So four divided by five equals point eight zero. So this is your final answer. So that's your working factor. It's that simple. So you could pause the video right now and then you start working on the rest of them. All right, so moving on. So again, the same way with the rest of these. You gotta do your used, you divide it by your AFRS, what the recipe call it calls for. So this one of course is going to be 15 divided by 23. So 15 divided by 23, that equals 0 0.65. 0 0.65, so that is my working factor. This next one, 32 pounds of shrimp divided by the 35 that your AFRS calls for. So 32 divided by 35 equals 0 0.91, 0 0.91. So that equals, that's your working factor. So again, we're only rounding up to the hundredths place, with it, which is just these two numbers. So next one is pork. You got 24 pounds of pork that were used, divided by your 29 pounds, which is what your recipe call calls for. So 24 divided by 29. That equals 0.83. The reason for that is because we have to round up. So we have to round up to the hundreds place. So if this third number is five or above, we round up. That's how we got the 0.83. If it's four or below, this number would stay the same and it would be just 0.82. So this last one, the 27 pounds that were used divided by your 32 pounds of steak, which is what your recipe call calls for. So that is point eight four so that is your working factor so again you round up to the hundredths place so just these two numbers and your third number 
if that is four below, this stays the same. If it was five or above, it would round up to 0.85, but of course, again, it's four below, so it just stays the same. So that's how you obtain your working factor using your limited ingredient formula.